Hey, planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. Today we are unboxing the November 2022 cloth and paper subscription box. I received the stationery and the pinspiration box, so we will also go through the pins that are included and do a pin test. So we are going to jump right into it. Um, I'm pulling up the info so I don't have to give y'all fake pin names when we get to that point. But um, this month, the box is in this um, kind of like a dust bag. It's a canvas bag, which I love because it can be repurposed. Um, so this is what the bag looks like, and all the goodies are inside. All right, so, and just if you're curious, oh, we're going to have an allergy video today. Um, 10 by 7.5, 8 ish. So, really good size for storing your goodies in. Let's just look real quick. Um, this is HP Mini. Um, it's a little bit stuffed, so not the best representation. But, ooh, it fits in here nicely. I'm always like, I want to protect my planner when I put it in my bag. And so, I like having a bag <laughs> to put the planner in and then put it inside the bag. And it fits, the HP Mini anyway, fits nicely in here. So, a pocket size, probably an A6. Um, personal, those sizes would work well. All right. I spilled everything on the floor. Okay, so let's get into this. Come back to that. That's Pinspiration. That's Pinspiration. And these are probably Pinspiration. Okay, so here are our things this month. So we continue to get stickers in this new format. So now we have drops. We have um, Angora, Sedona, and Pistachio, which if you will recall last month, we received dots. So this month we have drops in the same color scheme, which I believe the color scheme may be exclusive to the drop. I don't think you can get these online unless you go to like the subscriber extra section. So we have those. Um, I'll do this pin last when the other pins. But there was a pin also included with the stationery box this month. So we have our journaling cards and there is a note to yourself. Don't make progress by standing on the sidelines, whimpering and complaining. You make progress by implementing ideas. Shirley Chisholm. And then the action journaling card. Vision without action is a daydream. Action without vision is a nightmare. So those are our two journaling cards this month. Um, I noticed no calendar card listed. I'm sad about that because that's like one of my favorite things. Um, we have these uh, sticky notes. It's called the pill sticky note. So it's like a pill shape up here in the color Ale. And then the rest of the sticky note is white. It is three by three, 50 sheets. Hello, Petey. Hi. Are you going to say hi today? So we have those. Petey says hi. All right, and we'll come back to the clip in a second. 
Um, we have implementation inserts. So there is the implementation dashboard. And it says ideas are easy, implementation is hard. And that repeats. So there's the implementation dashboard. And then there is the implementation inserts. Um, it says on the cover, an act or instance of implementing something, the process of making something active or effective. Let's see. <clears throat> so on here, I'm currently doing HP Mini sized. So there's information on how to use it. An idea is nothing, it's implementation is everything. So you have your big goal, goals I must accomplish first, actions to reach the goal, supports I can have, resources, etc. So there's one, two, three, four of those. Line sheet. And then four more. Line sheet. It's like three sections. And then there is a five aspects of personal implementation, the social, spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional, and where they all overlap, you get two of those, and then another line sheet. Um, so that is the implementation insert. All right, then we have the... Pop and paper clip. Let's see. I wasn't looking at the back of this, so the implementation insert you can define and outline your goals with a personal development plan. Um, identify strengths and necessary changes you need to make to accomplish your goals with a written guide, prompt exercises. The implementation insert encourages implementing change and challenge to reach your personal milestones. Um, and then on the pill sticky note, um, it says it has a pill shaped header space to keep your sticky notes organized with a bold title. So you'll never have to ask yourself, what was this list for? I do that all the time. I start and then I have multiple things on, on a sticky note and it's like, that does not go with that. So that's nice. Um, okay. Cloth and paper clip in fossil. This is, I think, leather. Yep. So one inch by 2.25 leather clip in the color fossil, which I absolutely love. I'm just loving this neutral taupe tones. So there is that. And then we have a today dry erase tab divider that um, pairs with the 2023 spiral bound planner, which was included as well. So we've got today there on the top and it is in the color fossil as well. Let's see if we can, I'm not gonna be able to get that to focus. Let's try this. There we go. All right, so we have that. And then this is the 2023 spiral planner. I literally sit on this planner every year and don't open it, but, well, I open it. Let me rephrase. I don't use it, but I have plans for it in 2023. This is probably 99.9% .9 sure what I am going to use um, for, like, my devotional this next year. Haven't picked one out yet, but... Um, I think I'm going to use this. Um, so, 2023, and um, it's got the plastic or whatever on the cover that can be peeled off. This is a nice thick vellum. Then we have who it belongs to. You've got a year at a glance, and your holidays and observances. 
And then here is our monthly calendar. So the calendar has a Monday start, which is honestly not my favorite for a monthly calendar. I... We're just going to learn to roll. I don't really even, I'm probably not going to really use the calendar, the monthly calendar anyway, but I don't know what it is. I think I'm just always used to seeing the calendar with Sunday over here, Saturday over there, and Sunday is sort of like the beginning of the week, but I know that there's benefits to the Monday start as well. Um, I do like the Monday start on my weekly because I like to have my weekend together. But for whatever reason on monthly, I, I don't prefer it. That's just me. Um, but we have your calendar, Monday start. And then you've got like a sidebar here. You've got last month, next month. And then you've got some note space down at the bottom and important dates. Then we go into the week at a glance. I think this is considered the horizontal layout. So um, we received these inserts, I think, last year. And so... They did the spiral this year with these inserts. You've got a real light um, print for any holidays. And um, the Week of the Glance is also a Monday start. So Monday through Friday are going to be on your left. And then Saturday and Sunday are together on the right. And then there is some additional space down here, sort of like a dashboard. So you can use that for any other things that you want to fill in. Um, so I kind of have some ideas like how I want to use this. Like maybe like a affirmation or a quote each week can go down here. And I might throw some stickers in here. Um, I just think it'll work well for that purpose. And it says the 2023 Spiral Bound Planner keeps the entire year at your fingertips. This planner features a sturdy plastic cover, sleek black spiral coil, simple yet elegant monthly cover pages, and the ability to customize using dashboards punched specifically for its spiral binding. Horizontal layout, organized and designed to keep your week intact. And so here is the Today tab that they included. And so you can, um, it was made to go in here. I missed a page when I put, jumped into January, but let me show you this real quick. So this goes in here really easily and nicely, just like that. And then that can be like your page marker as well. So I love that. And um, I missed at the beginning of January, there is a notes page on the left and then a sort of like a dashboard on the right. And so you have a place for goals, another sidebar, intentions, build do. Um, and this is nice. The spiral folds back on itself so you can have it flat, whether you're lefty or righty. Um, it lays flat. So love that. So you get your, your weekly, um, and then each week has the same weekly layout. And then at the end, you have a sheet of note paper and then another dashboard. And then you go into the same thing with notes, dashboard with goals and intentions, month at a glance calendar and then weekly and so on until you get to the end and at the end of december you have a notes page and then a password tracker and you have four pages of contacts so there is a place for a name, phone number, email, website, and address, and birthday. So that is the 2023 Spiral Planner. Love it. All right. And then you can have your clip on here as well. So... That's very nice. Very chic. Okay, so that's that. Then we have this pin, which is not on here. Hmm. All right. Let's see if it's on here. I 
guess not. Okay, let's look at the Pinspiration. I'm confused. Um, okay, so maybe this, I thought this was part of the stationery, but I, it's listed on the pins for, well, I don't know. I haven't looked at the pins, so maybe it's not listed. Maybe there is a pin with the same name. Okay, so let's get into this Pinspiration. We got these sticky notes that is an undated calendar. This would be fun for tracking no spin if I was a no spin person, um, which reminds me, I was going to say, guess how many down in the comments um, times I shopped, the number of times I shopped with cloth and paper um, during the Black Friday sales, the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, San Juan sale, the ABC sale, the Elemental PQ, RST sale, all the sales, sales. Guess how many times I shopped with cloth and paper? Comment down below. Um, I'll pick a random person and send you a goodie from cloth and paper. Okay, so sticky notes. Maybe you want to track no spin. Maybe you want to track something else. Fun for that or just a calendar to move around with a sticky note. That's cool. Then we have Pinspiration boards. So these are the colors that have inspired this month. Selection of pins. We still have our little month um, bookmark, I call it, with the little calendar there as well. And then important dates. And then I have no idea what this says, but Vivri Sans Les Lux. Les Lux. Um, and so this month we're focusing on personal implementation plans, list of a few small changes you can make in your daily routine that will better support your goals and values is the prompt. And here are our pins. So I, I ordered things and of all the things I didn't order was more of these little pen test sheets. And I just got into my last package. Okay, so there are four pins in here, and there are five listed under the Pinspiration, so this must have been a Pinspiration pin. So, let, let us start with what we can figure out, because y'all know it's not always easy. We do a process of elimination over here. Okay, so this is the Keiko Green My Dot Gel Pen. Keiko Green My Dot, M I D O T. It is like this blue gray, steelish color. Really sleek and pretty. Silver. Um, on the clip and it says that it is it's an ultra soft touch barrel which it is equally smooth strokes navy gray is what they are calling the color I don't know about the navy part um, 0.5 millimeter conical nib retractable with clip so let's get closer PD has come to tell me it is his bedtime and I need to tend to his needs post haste. Keiko Green, my dot. A little bit of skipping, but no smearing. 0.5 millimeter conical. Little little smearing at the end there. So. I say navy gray barrel. I like this pen. This is a winner for me. Okay, so we have that. Then we have the, I still don't know what that is. Um, this is the Snow White Roller Gel Pen. 0.38 millimeter needle tip nib, postable clip, blue barrel, 
perfect pen choice when you need to add bold color to your plans. That does not... I like the color of the ink. But y'all know, 0.38. I know people love it. I'm not people. Um, it's just, it's too thin for me. But I might find something to use it for. So that is the Snow White Roller Gel Pen. Next we have the Tercel More Ink Gel Pen. Lightweight, minimal pen for any and all note-taking needs. White barrel, black ink, 0.38 millimeter conical, conical with the postal postable with clip. Um... Sell more and ink. Point three eight. They dry quick, but I just don't love them. The tip is too small for me. I like a bold ink. Okay, so this would be the Dionysi Obsidian gel pen. This is really a pretty pen. This matte black and then shiny black paired together is really nice. Um, add Lux Flare to your workspace with this pen's deep obsidian color and ultra inky pen strokes, black barrel, silver accents, black ink, 0.5 millimeter needle tip nib, retractable with clip. it out on that one. Let's do this. Um, and I don't know if I said that right. Di Dionchi? Dionchi? I like this one. I like this one a lot. Um, even though it's needle tip, that 0.5 millimeter, I'm here for it. Okay, so, and no smear. Okay, so we like that one. Last but not least is the Keiko Soft Gel Pen. So, I mean, it's in a whole case. Um, 0.7 millimeter conical nib, retractable with clip, sage green barrel, gold accents. She got a whole case. Really pretty green. It's like a, you can't really see it, but it's like a pearl. It's um, chunky like, oh, this is nice. Okay, nice grip. It's chunky like the um, Sarasa Airfit grip. Kind of reminds me of this. They're similar in shape. You see, I don't have any ink in here because I use it. But anyway. Um, okay, so this pen features a chunky grip and indulgent accents. Let me get all the stuff off of here. I love this 0.7. Bayoki. I'm probably saying that wrong. Soft gel pin. 0.7 conical. And it did not smear. Yes! I love it. This is what I'm getting. I'm going to go get off of the internet and YouTube and go do my budget with this nice bold ink. Love it! It's a five. I usually don't rate them, but this one gets a five. Okay, so that's all the, the stuff. So, favorite thing for me um, for the pens is this pen. Close second. No, it's not close. But second would be this pen, which was the... Um, just a quick item. I forgot the name. Dion Shi Obsidian. The, love these two. 
Um, favorite thing on the stationary side, I like the entire, um, the spiral with the dashboard, the Today dashboard and the clip. I just think the whole thing together is super sleek. You can add in the, this card as well if you want a little deco. It's just really um, a beautiful setup. So I love that. So let me know what your favorite thing is. And then don't forget to comment down below how many orders you think I placed with coffin paper. Um, you don't have to be right. I just want to know what y'all think I bought um, or how many times y'all think I shopped. And I will um, pick a random winner, let's say, um, uh, on Sunday, like the 4th. I'll try to remember. Um, and uh, I'll send you something from my goodies that I have shopped. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.